Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs. We know everyone who has tuned into the show over the last seven years are fans of entrepreneurship. We are constantly streaming stories of entrepreneurship as they happen, real-time stories, not textbooks after the fact. Uh, our next guest, Jimmy Duong, President and CEO of New England Wellness Solutions. Welcome, Jimmy. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. It's good, good to be here. Thank you very much. It's good to have you here. Uh, Jimmy, tell us about uh, New England Wellness Solutions. You're a first-time guest. For sure, yeah. So uh, we are located in the South Shore with plans to open regionally. And our company just simply helps people with um, holistic health through acupuncture and Chinese medicine. And uh, our mission really is to inspire hope into families that's been challenged by healthcare um, issues. And we do that through Chinese medicine, through acupuncture, um, and the, the clinic has grown quite a bit because some of the, the new changes that are happening with uh, insurance coverage. Wow, very nice. Uh, so how many facilities do you have now? Uh, so right now we have uh, two facilities that are in operation, Hanover and Weymouth uh, in the South Shore, right on Route 3 there on kind of the way towards the Cape. Um, and then we have... Uh, we have a location in Newport, Vermont, that's opening November 1st. Um, and the idea was that we would kind of begin to expand uh, regionally. Interesting. Has anybody else done what you're doing? Have they, have they gone towards this sort of expansive model? So there, there is a, another acupuncture company that is beginning to expand nationally, but their business model is a little different from ours. Um, and so it, it, it's a very um, uh, equitable brand called um, Modern Acupuncture. Uh, and it's more of a fast paced uh, uh, business model, whereas for us is more of an experiential. We focus more on experience and quality of care. Uh, so just different, uh, different ways to position ourselves. So you have a corporate background. So, you know, let's get into my way back machine and go through your career progression because it's kind of interesting how you, where you were from what I know about you to how you got to where you are now. For sure. Yeah, yeah. So, so kind of an interesting kind of, uh, you know, growing up in America and uh, going through, you know, uh, education here. My parents always wanted me to go to business school. So I did. And um, you know, after going, uh, finishing with uh, Northeastern University, I worked for Johnson & Johnson. Uh, so Depew Orthopedics and, uh, and then uh, onwards to um, headquarters in New Brunswick, New Jersey, supporting um, the financial team um, for Johnson & Johnson Development Corp. And, uh, and after that, I, I, I really wanted to bridge the gap between myself and my family's legacy of medicine. So it started with my great, great grandfather uh, who started, you know, the practice um, of Chinese medicine. And uh, he gave he gave his talents to my great uncle, who then uh, taught me and my father. Uh, and, and now we have kind of a family practice uh, with myself and my my brother, Ryan, uh, running it. Well, that's interesting. So entrepreneurship sort of runs in the family. For sure. Yeah, for sure. So, you know, we're, we're certainly immigrants. We're, you know, refugees of the Vietnam War, uh, leaving Vietnam on a boat or, you know, something. We call it a boat, but it's really just a canoe that my father built um, and uh, spending 28 days in the South China Sea uh, to, to find, uh, you know, some help at uh, Hong Kong uh, and uh, finally getting uh, here to the U.S., you know, and, and, and living, you know, this idea of, of, you know, reaching for our dreams and, and entrepreneurship uh, is, is really a part of that dream is the, the freedom and the liberty of creating our own future. So in a sense, your father was an entrepreneur leaving Vietnam. He sort of took the risk, went out, built his own boat. His right. Own vehicle for getting there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Was, was America always the destination of choice as he left Vietnam? You know, you know, I think probably the luck of the straw, really. I mean, you know, it's kind of like uh, it was either going to be America or Australia or France or whichever country that was going to take us on as a refugee of war. So France, um, France because in Vietnam, people spoke speak French. Correct. Correct. Yes. Uh, because, uh, they, you know, fr France um, used to rule Vietnam for 100 years. So 
so there was that um, that that bridge and the bond between Vietnam and France. So so that was an option as well. Interesting. Well, we're glad you ended up here. Give us a sense. Let's let's roll now to the future. Tell For us. Sure. Give us a sense of what New England uh, New England Wellness Solutions is going to look like in three years. I'm sure that's something that's in your mind and how right. you're going to get and how you're going to get there. Yeah. So so uh, you know basically right now. Uh, what we're seeing is with insurance coverage, there's a lot more accessibility uh, for acupuncture medicine and Chinese medicine. And so there's been a, a very much uh, an elevated demand uh, for the work that we do. Um, and so between now and three years from now, I do anticipate uh, opening, uh, you know, 10 to 20 more locations. And so um, the, the, the biggest thing right now is hiring. So we're, you know, we're growing our team where uh, we have a medical uh, uh, billing expert that's joining our team uh, in October, November, we have more clinicians joining us. Uh, and so in the next uh, few years, hiring is the biggest uh, part of um, what we're going to be doing. Just like everybody else. And how are you sure. going to maintain a consistent culture? Yeah, so th that's a great question. Jeff, you know, we've been really thinking about what makes us unique and what makes us special. Um, and our core values would be it. But that's how we're going to instill kind of that, that same culture as we grow and to maintain the quality of the care that, we, that we're given to the community. Um, so our five core values, we want to inspire hope in our patients when they're coming in. Um, we want to bring joy to their lives through health, you know, because I think without joy, you can't be healthy. Um, and then, uh, you know, our basic uh, fundamentals of being a part of the community through our community service um, uh, initiatives, um, being uh, committed to our patients, making sure that when we, when we say we're going to follow up that we do uh, and accountable for it, and then being compassionate. Uh, really, compassion is the heart of our medicine. And so it's a very different experience than if you went to see your medical doctor um, so, you know, the compassion is something that we infuse into every treatment experience. So when you worked at J&J, &J, did you read the credo? Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Because you can see that there's parts of that credo. Uh, you right. see this with a lot of XJ and j people that, you know, you, you can leave J&J, &J, but the credo stays with you. The credo stays with you. And, and I, I love the idea that, you know, you put your patients first. Yeah. Yeah, and and uh, and then it's the employees, and then it's the shareholders. And so, as long as you take care of the patients and, and provide them with the highest quality of care, everything else gets taken care of as well. And just for our listeners, I am a product of a J and J company as well, and that's why <laughs> I know the I know the credo. It's uh, a beautiful credo. Yeah, I, I would recommend any listeners to to look it up, and and it's something to aspire to. Uh, certainly, uh, the, the words in the credo are very powerful, and and if you if you like uh, to help other people, it's certainly something you can live by, and and you know you can you can live by that at home as well. Well, and uh, it was written two hundred years after the death of her great grandfather, who was General Johnson, a Civil War general. That's right. Right. Yeah. We I think everybody who's ever worked for the company, it's part of the whole indoctrination to learn that, to live and breathe that credo. And you're recruited based on that credo. Right. Exactly. So exactly. All, all very interesting and uh, be interesting to sort of track your growth since you are so values based. Uh, and I hope you'll be willing to come back and talk to us as you grow. How are you financing the business? Is it all internally financed or are you are there third parties, external parties working with you? So right now we're all internally financed, um, but as we grow, you know, uh, beyond the 20 locations, 10 locations, I think what's going to happen is there will be some joint ventures. Um, and, and so um, I think that's where we'll get to, uh, to go national um, and, uh, and really begin to uh, expand the, the access to this medicine to more people and more communities. Well, Jimmy, I want to thank you for being on the show today. You're quite exciting and what you're doing is exciting. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm not that far from your offices. I hope right now I don't need your services, but I probably will because I'm quite active and I want to stay active, want to stay childlike forever. But if somebody else was looking for you short term, long term, as I probably will, uh, how would we find you? 
Absolutely, yeah. The easiest way to find us is through our website. Uh, you can we, you can search us up New England Wellness Solutions on Google, or you can go to newellnesssolutions.com. Uh, you know, take a look at a lot of the educational information that we have on there. Uh, if you if you maybe uh, interested in a specific condition, uh, but if you wanted to learn more about how we practice, the website has all the information that you would need. newellnesssolutions.com, and we're looking forward to helping your community improve your health. Well, that sounds great, Jimmy. And uh, it, only because I know your background and we have some similar training, I'm a big fan already and I'm a believer. So please come back to Radio Entrepreneurs and remind our listeners, this is the one and only Radio Entrepreneurs streaming stories, uh, real time of real entrepreneurship. And we're That's gonna- awesome. That's thank great. you. Thank you very much.